Hey everybody, welcome back to Northwestern Ontario. I'm Daryl Gilbert with Daryl Gilbert Outdoors and tonight we're talking all about catching big walleyes on big crankbaits. And I'm not talking medium sized crankbaits, I'm talking big musky crankbaits. So the musky guys have a hidden secret that they haven't been telling the walleye guys and that's that they catch some giant walleyes when they're out trolling for muskies on these big crankbaits. So tonight I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to run these musky crankbaits for big walleyes, where to run them and exactly what I'm doing. So stay with me here and we're going to catch some fish right away here. I can feel it. It's going to be a good night. So the first bait that I'm throwing tonight is an 8 inch sucker pattern jake. So this bait is actually really good at catching giant walleyes out here. And uh, it's midsummer, so what we've actually done is we've moved into the deeper water. So if you lose track of your walleyes, if you can't find out where your walleyes have gone midsummer, check in the open water. And they're going to be really not on a key location. What they're going to be doing is following bait. So wherever you have bait moving around, they're just going to be pockets of walleye following those pockets of bait. So that's where you're going to find these aggressive and active feeding fish. These fish are just constantly going to follow these bait around and they're going to feed off them whenever they feel like it. And uh, those are the fish we're, we're actually targeting tonight. That's why we're trolling them because we're going to get that reaction bite out of them. They're going to get that aggressive strike on it. They're just going to chase and quickly strike the bait. So that's what we're doing. We're out targeting the open water. And uh, if you lose track of your walleyes in midsummer, definitely check the open water spots. If you have a lot of bait fish in your lake, move into the big basin and take a look around. Just cruise around a bit, spend some time searching for them. They're going to be there. They're going to be chasing that bait and they're just going to be in little pockets. You're just going to keep trolling that area and you will catch them. When you catch one, you're probably going to catch another there. So wheel back around and uh, keep your bait out. So what I'm doing here is I'm trolling for these walleyes and I'm trolling at about 2 to 2.2 miles an hour. Um, the water temperature right now is 75 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, I'm actually marking so much bait in this area that sometimes the graph actually reads the bait balls as the bottom. There's just so many Cisco's and different types of bait out here that uh, these walleyes are just out here just feeding on these things aggressively and uh, man when you troll these big crankbaits by them you just get these super aggressive strikes on it they just clobber the bait and it's uh, it's so much fun just the the hookups you get on it it's just unbelievable all right just hooked up with a fish here feels like a nice walleye running the uh, eight inch jake there and i like to run really natural colors on mine actually just uh just super natural what the fish are feeding on. This is a nice big wall out here. I'm gonna grab the net. Check that out. Unhook as soon as I got it in the net. Well, first fish of the night, and that is a decent walleye to start the night off with. So big baits equals big walleyes. Let's put this one on the board and uh, we'll see what this one measures really quick here. So that's a 26 inch walleye. Not bad to start the day on an eight inch Jake uh, sucker pattern. I'm gonna get this one back in the water here quick. So beautiful 26 inch walleye to start the evening. And I'm telling you this technique really works. The musky guys have been keeping this a secret for a while for a reason. And it's because these big baits catch big walleyes. And uh, man, it's just, it's unbelievable. The size of bait that those walleyes will hit and they just hit it so aggressively. You look at that, that's an eight inch, eight inch jake in a sucker pattern. Like I was saying, I like picking those natural colors out here, especially when they're feeding on bait fish. And uh, man, it's just, it works so well using these big, big crank baits for big walleyes. So these baits run about four to 16 feet deep and uh, I'm running mine 100 feet back and uh, two to two and a half miles an hour changing uh, variable speeds and this is what works well for me. You can, you can experiment with different lengths of line out uh, depending on where you're fishing and uh, how deep you want to get your bait but uh, this is what works for me out here is 100 feet of line back and uh, it just gets this bait into the strike zone for these walleyes. All right, I just hooked up with another fish here and the walleye bite is really starting to turn on as the sun's setting, no surprise there. But these big baits are just picking out these big walleyes for me and 
Man, it's such a fun technique to use. They just hammer these baits. Like they just the way they strike them is just so much fun to experience. Just that, even just the way they strike these baits, it's so much fun. Let's see what we got here. That's a greedy little one, look at that. Not quite the tank we're looking for, but that's about the smallest fish you get when you're doing this technique. So get this one back quick and uh, we'll get another. All right, I just hooked up with another fish here. Nice heavy walleye, I'm sure. Running the big eight inch jig still in the sucker pattern. This fish is right on the surface already. It's just so much fun when they strike this, these baits, it's just, they hammer them and it's just unbelievable. Look at this fish. Nice big walleye right here. On the eight inch jig again, another tank walleye. So there it is, look at that. Another big walleye on a big crankbait. And this is just such an effective method of catching big fish. And uh, if you haven't tried it before, definitely throw it in your bag of tricks because check out these fish, like that's a great walleye. With that fish in the boat, I'm gonna head in for the night and uh, thanks for watching this video. And hopefully you can throw this in your bag of tricks. I mean, it's such a great method of catching big walleyes, as you can see here, check that out. So I'm gonna get this one back in the water and head back to the camp.